Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. So today, Sunday, so it was my first day at Domino's class at the gym. Okay, technically it's yoga, but you know. I am about as wobbly as an upside-down triangle. I mean, it's just, I'm going to fall over. But I got in there, and I put my mat by the wall so that I had something to hold on to and also so that I wasn't by the window where everyone could watch me. And oh my god, that was probably the hardest workout I've done. I mean, my legs are sore. I was weevil wobbling. I was sweating. I and That was in the first 15 minutes and it's an hour long course class. I made it through and then afterwards, um, there, there were two other, I'm referring to as extreme beginners or, you know, the balance challenged people. There were two others of that in the class. So there's three total. And we stopped and, and stayed after we talked to the instructor a little bit of like, you know, okay, was there kind of a beginner course? Starting to find out that we were in what was relatively close to the beginner course. Um, we asked for a remedial course. There's not really one. But what we could do is we, we asked, so well, maybe setting up, a an area that you know having all of us together kind of like a beginner's section because i mean it's every class is for a wide variety of people this just happens to be the easiest class which i lucked out on that one but um so she's gonna try as long as we can all kind of get there earlier you know next week she's gonna set up where we have an area where you know because she's one of the guys you know she works with she he has a chair there so that you know he can do for the balance whatnot and so that will help both of us and you know i talked about you know well maybe i'm going you know like too deep into some of the post either whatnot she's like no actually it's better for even though it's hard and it hurts because my muscles get sore and i'm a big giant wuss it's still better to do the um go deeper you know into some of the poses than to kind of lighten up even if i have to only hold up for five seconds and then take a break and think about it. She goes, you know, she said she's had classes before where people have sat in the child's pose for half for, you know, 30 minutes out of the whole hour. But if, you know, you're making it active and you're doing what you can do, then it, you're going to get a workout, whatever level you're on, you just do what you can. So I'm not looking forward to Sunday, but I'm a little bit just because I think it might be more more harder it might be out of the the three different classes that i take it's probably my least favorite but it's probably the one that's going to help me the most so yeah you know take my medicine whatnot anyway so you know it'll be i think it'll be better next week and i think it'll get better every week it's just going to be a while before i consider it fun if i ever get to that point but I think that this class will actually will help me a lot with the balance and all that fun stuff. So, um, I ended up riding the Lime Scooter home instead of waiting for the bus because, and I rode the Lime Scooter home in the rain. I mean, it was just drizzling. It wasn't that bad, but you know, it was cold. It was windy. It was wet. And I rode the scooter home because there was a drunk guy that kept trying to cuddle up next to me at the bus stop and I wasn't putting up with that for 40 minutes. I don't like cuddling with people I like, let alone, you know, drunk strangers that smell funky. And I just got done working out, and he smelled worse than I did. So, I rode the bus home, or the scooter home. Got home. So, and crocheted a little bit, and then Drew messaged me, or called me. He got done working out at the gym. And the, we went to the, the crochet thing wasn't crochet. It was, we all got together, but it wasn't a crochet. We didn't crochet. Um, it was some little adoption, animal adoption thing at a local pub. Um, but it wasn't like a 21 and over pub it, because there were kids there whatnot. And that might have just been a special thing. I don't know. But anyway, we only stayed there probably not even half an hour. And then we came back here and I helped Drew get his channel default set up. Um, he's got banner art now. I mean, and just something simple. He's got a watermark. Just something for him to use for right now. We've got his upload default set so that, you know, he said that he's definitely an adult chat. Yeah, adult chat. Um, adult channel. 
and he's got, you know, just the basic stuff so that he's good to go for now until he kind of figures out where really, really where he wants to go. So, and I am up to 806 subscribers and 2.4 thousand watch hours. So thanks for everyone that's been helping me out. I really appreciate it. And um, it would help if you'd please continue to share my channel out, subscribe if you're not subscribed and play my videos. Um, and also just since there is I found the channel that her subscriber count is just so nicely mirrors mine at I'm at 806, she's at 608. Plus she's got some good videos up there. And um, go ahead and check out Granny Crafters Crochet. I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, but yeah, just check her out. Show her some love. I don't have any new finished objects this week. Um, I do have some whips. I'm working on the Melody, Sabrina's Melody Cardi. And this is what I have so far. Um, not much. This is just the back part of the back piece. I mean, there's you know, the bottom hem. I think that all of this right here, that the moss stitch, I might have to get, I might have to frog it because I think I've lost stitches somewhere. I mean, I'm marking the front in the beginning, but the moss stitch is a new stitch that I'm learning. So I'm, I think I've screwed it up, but I'm not sure. I'm waiting to hear back from her. I messaged her. So I may be able to go with what I have. I may have to frog it. There's no telling, but I mean, it's a, it's a new stitch, and I'm just at the beginning of it, so if I have to frog it, it's not this massive hurt. So, there's that. Um, I'm working, so working on the Luminate Cowl. I've got this much done. Um, so, let's see. Uh, and it's stuck on my earring. Yeah. <laughs> So if I want about that much down around my neck, so see I've got that and I've got to go up to where, you know, to here. So, I might want to rethink wearing this thing with my earrings. I may end up taking my earrings out, who knows. I'm stuck. I really am stuck. There we go. So I'm working on that. Um... I just kind of do that. I'll do a couple rows here and there of that. So let's see. And then we have the don't pull out the corner to corner blanket. I haven't worked on it yet today, but I'm going to work on it after dinner. And that's all of my active whips. Now what I've got left is I think I'm about to do an awful lot of frogging. Because I need to clear out my whip mystery. I mean, I counted it yet during the live yesterday. And there was like, what, 11, 12, something like that, projects. And I really need to clear some of them out. Some of them are amigurumi that's too far gone to, to rip out or to frog. So I've got, I'll have to finish them. Um, and they're not that far from being finished. It's just, I kind of got bored with them. And the whole ADHD thing has me off chasing something else. So anyway, of the things I think I'm going to frog, this was the, um, I, could, I mean, I don't really have a need for something this small, but um, this was the coaster, and this was yarn that I also could use for, it's the yarn that I really like using on the scrunchies anyway, because it's, it's the eBay cotton, or e, not cotton, eBay yarn, it's acrylic, I believe. Um, I'd have to get the translator app out, but, um, it's really soft and it works really well with the scrunchies. So that I think is going to get frogged. And then the, what I was referring to is my junk blanket that I haven't worked on since summer. Um, I mean, that's how long it is. I'm going to, I think I'm going to frog it and then go back and just do a, I might try and salvage the yarn for some, for a different project, or I may end up turning it into doing corner to corner, some other kind of stitch. Um, it's just, it's hanging out of my tree. There's not really much I've been doing with it. And, you know, I just need to 
not have so many things going. Because it kind of gets to where I have so many things going that I forget what's on there. And um, because I forget what's on there, then I don't work on something and I forget about it. And then I just lose interest in it. And then I ended up having just wasted yarn. So Max sees yarn and he's like, oh, playtime. So I think that I'm go Oh, and I have this other thing. That's going to frog. This is before I learned how to... Um, how to, to crochet or knit a blanket, I was doing loom knitting a blanket, and I had that infinity loom that um, I've been working on this project, but I had not worked on this project in months, and it is about waist high. This is Oh. And it's nice and soft and fuzzy, and I think what I may do, because I don't think I have any more of this yarn, and it's it's a Joann's only yarn, so I would have to, um, I mean, and there's a Joann's I can go to, I can order from Joann's, but what more yarn, what I think I may do is, if I rip it out, if I frog it, then I can turn around, and I can just do, like, a, um, double crochet or um and it would work up into a decent blanket for me you know really quickly and probably could make you know a even just in doing a plain no frills double crochet rectangle I could get a decent sized blanket out of that out of what yarn I had now so that I'm pretty sure is going to get frogged this evening and turned into cakes and I mean the yarn is it's Bernat I believe but I mean look at the that's about as chunky as you can get I mean so or I'm yeah there's yarn way chunkier than that I know that but um so yeah there's because that way if I clear all those out let me wiggle you around for just a second so look how much cleaner that tree looks now some of those bags are um one or one of the bags is the, the scrunchies. Sorry. And the scrunchies is I mean that's one that I'm just not gonna get rid of anytime soon. I because I keep making scrunchies as I'm out running errands, going to, you know, waiting on the bus, going to the doctor, you know, you know, going to therapy, whatnot. I work on scrunchies. It's an easy project to take along. And so that one will stay up there. We have the um, the Latchik rug kit that I don't work on very often, but I work on it some. And, you know, so it's it's a long-term project. That's fine. But a lot of, you know, then the Amigurumi Baby Yoda, because I'm, I want to work on it, but it's just get to back burner because I've got other things I'm working on right now. So, but it does look nicer that it's, it's, tamed it down quite a bit and I want to and I can kind of have it organized where the longer the long-term projects that are the you know pick them up set them down pick them up set them down you know those are on the bottom where they kind of get buried then the, the mid-range ones that I'm working on but um not as frequently are in the middle of it and then the ones that are getting worked on on a daily basis are on the top hooks so they're just easier to get to and then I think that you know I can you know, eventually, you know, like, I'll take the mid ones, the mid-range ones, and move them to the top, just, to, you know, every so often to clear them out. So anyway, that's where I am on my works in project, pro, uh, progress. So, my upcoming plans, tomorrow is, I gotta get up early, well, not early. My, I've adjusted fairly quickly to waking up between 7.30 and 8 every morning, coming from... 9.30 to 10, you know, like last week, I figured my, my goal was 8.30, and then suddenly I'm at this 7.30 to 8, so I'm going with it. But I get up early, and get up and get moving pretty decent time, go do laundry tomorrow, and then I have creative arts group tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully the, I need to set these down with the, so I can put these up. The girl that wanted these scrunchies, hopefully she'll be there. And, but she should be, 
she just had a doctor's appointment last week. So give her those. Um, and then Tuesday is DBT in the group in the mornings. And I'm really looking forward to that group. I mean, I know it's education group, not like talk therapy type thing, but I'm learning a lot and it, it does help. So, and then, um, also, you know, yarn and grocery shopping Tuesday afternoon. And right now I'm on track to earn all seven of my skeins of yarn this week. So, and Michael's has a sale going on online right now, um, that ends today. Go figure. But it's Michael's. They'll have another sale starting tomorrow. Um, and the yarn I was looking at, anyway, they were out of stock online. So, you know, I'll look in the store because I have a project that I want to get started on what I'm using on my, currently using my um, yarn allowance on. So I want to get started on it, but I kind of want to get some of these projects thinned out before I start working on it. But that project will be a, it's a graph GAN, so it's going to take me, you know, I'll have, in, you know, individual squares working on, but I'm looking at that project not getting finished until, like, Christmas time. Hopefully. Hopefully will be finished by then, not hopefully it will take me that long. So. Yeah. Yeah, my plant is still alive. I still think that rose is fake. I haven't messed with it anymore other than after plucking those. But, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, that's where I am for today. This video's gone on long enough. I'm hungry and I have made a mess of my couch with all my projects that I'm going to be frogging. So, it's going to sound like a garden pond in here in a little bit. Rivet, rivet. So, anyway. Hope you guys have a great evening. Sorry that it's Monday and the rest of y'all have to go back to work tomorrow. But I will check with you guys tomorrow.